hope everybody's doing well. I do. I, I really hope everybody is having a wonderful hump day. It is Wednesday, so I'm hoping everybody is doing well. Um, so the reason I wanted to talk about this is because um, so, ta so many times we believe or we hear things common common little taglines through our through our life we hear people say things and you know we we teach people how to treat us you know you hear that all the time oh we teach people how to treat us you know we teach people how to treat us and we say it over the, over and over and and we hear that and i know i've heard it throughout my life you know um but for some odd reason when it comes down to being in a relationship with someone, we lose sight that we teach our lover, our significant other, our mate, our wife, our husband, how to treat us. We teach them that off the rip. Okay. We put you up on game with something. And I really want you to heed this because I don't think a lot of times we even really sit down and think about how we treat our mate or how our mate treats us has a lot to do with how we taught them how to treat us. We say all the time, well, you know, I want a good man. I want a good woman and all of those things. And what does good mean exactly? Does good mean faithful only? Does good mean faithful only? That's my question. Because there's a lot of people that could be faithful but treat you like dog shit. Because nobody else by God would want to be with them. But you. So let's be, be mindful. You know I'm, I'm a wisdom coach. So you know I'm always going to give wisdom. And I'm always going to give a unique perspective. I'm not going to give you some half-ass shit. I totally sat on this for a while. So I'm just giving you something I want you to think about. How did you treat your mate how to treat you? Now, now, now listen, I want you guys to think about something because I don't think we actually do. We can be in a jacked up relationship, a jacked up relationship, a relationship where nothing's going right. And we can be in a relationship where our mate doesn't really treat us right and, and we find ourselves f combative with each other. I'm combating against you. You're combating against me. Every, every song and dance we do, we're stumbling, we're all over the place. We aren't doing a tango with everybody that we're in a relationship with. Hey, Harley. But we do happen to tango and dance well with others. Why is that? Because you know what? I'm going to tell you what it is. It, it, and I've gotten to the point now where I'm just going to be really raw. At the end of the day, when we're in a relationship with somebody, a lot of times we are afraid to lose them. We're afraid to lose them. So we let them walk on top of us and walk on top of us and treat us like dog crap because we're afraid to lose them. First of all, you know why? Because you don't think you deserve them. Oh, I'm stepping on toes this morning. You don't think you deserve them. You believe that, oh my God, I've got this, oh my God, this amazing person in my life and I really, in my heart, don't think I, I really deserve them. I don't even know how I got her. I don't even know how I got her, man. She is one of the most beautiful women I've ever had. And so I don't know what to do with her. She's amazing. She's beautiful. I never thought I'd have a woman this pretty. I never thought I'd have a man with this much money. So why did I get granted this person in my life, though? And so what do we do when they start treating us like dog shit? We allow it. Well, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to make them uncomfortable. I don't want to say that I'm upset. I'll just let them run over me. I'll just keep my mouth shut. I'll choke the life out of my own voice because I don't want to lose them. I love them, so I don't want to lose them. I feel like they're here because I love them. Okay, but even in your love for them, it's costing you yourself, your self-growth. You're so in awe over who you got that you got to the point where you let this nonsense 
this crap that they're dishing out to you to be okay. So guess what? Because you've raised them up on this high pedestal, Oh my God, I've got the man of my dreams. Oh my God, I got this woman. She's banging, man. All my boys want her. Oh my God, she's the shit. And she wants me. Okay, that's wonderful. But in your heart, you really don't believe you deserve that person. So when you are in a relationship like this, and they start to mistreat you, dog you, bully you, treat you like crap, guess what you do? You start to say, okay, okay, whatever you want, whatever you want, I'll let you do whatever you want because I'm afraid to lose you. So you get smaller and you get smaller and you get smaller in your relationship. So now the relationship is looking toxic. So now this person knows that they can go at you. What's up, Tony? These people can go, this person can go at you and treat you like dog shit. And you're not going nowhere. You're going to stay right there in that relationship because damn it, I got the baddest chick that all my boys want. I got the dopest man every woman would die to be with. So I'm not willing to lose, I'm not willing to lose him. I'm going to stay in this fucked up toxic relationship because I don't want to lose them. But you're losing you in the process. Let's talk about how we get in relationships with toxic people. How does that happen? Because in, in the beginning of the relationship, when we're starting to walk in a relationship with somebody that we really, really like and we're really all excited about and we really love them. Oh, my God, I can't believe I pulled this one off. and Oh, my God, I can't believe he wants me and only me. But then what happens when he says, don't wear them jeans? Where do you think you're going with that? You can't go out this house without my permission. Or where are you gentlemen when you have a woman slap the shit out of you and say, say it again? You shut it down, right? I love her, man. I don't want to put my hands on her. But I don't want to leave. Maybe, you know, maybe the slap, I deserved it. Maybe I deserved it. No, the fuck you didn't. No, you didn't. Nobody deserves to put their hands on you. Nobody deserves to bully you. Nobody deserves that behavior to be dished out on their soul. Period. Woman or man. Period. They don't, they don't deserve that. But because you have them so on this pedestal, so excited about who they are in your life. Oh my God, I finally got me a man. So when he chokes you up, and says, say it again, you're like this. And you're like, I won't. And he stretches you up again and says, and you better not. And you get smaller. And you get smaller. And you get smaller. What, you think this ain't real? You think toxic relationships aren't going on right now? Do you think last night somebody wasn't fighting and fussing at each other? I don't care if they're in a good relationship or not. There was somebody getting it on last night, and I'm not talking about sexually. I'm talking about physically. I'm talking about bullying in the relationship. But why is it that you can be in a healthy freaking relationship? You are the same person. You can be in a great, healthy relationship with one person and be a, a whole totally different person with another person. Why is that? You happen to have any idea? I can tell you why. Because when you are in high admiration for somebody, if you fearing that you can lose them, that relationship that you're so excited over can become toxic. And it is the playground for toxicity in relationships. It's not by mistake. That's, that's the easiest way to get in relationships because guess what? When you're in a relationship with someone that you're so excited over, guess what happens? They can do what they want to you and you're not going anywhere. You're going to stay rooted and seated right in the relationship you are in.
because you, you're afraid. You're fit. The relationship is now fear-based. 